Hey folks, today we're adding marker symbols to the Python Folium map we created in the last video. Starting simple and working our way up. Let's get to it. We have our map created from the last video and uh, we wanna add some points to it. Folium calls these markers. If we flip to the documentation real quick, we can scroll down from creating a map down to adding markers. It looks something like this. So here's our sample code. We'll copy and paste into our Jupyter Notebook so that we can plug and play some of the things that we want to do. And I'm going to go ahead and comment out all of this code by using the control and forward slash hotkey in Jupyter Notebook. We want to have, let's see, our lat long for point one. And we'll do our lat long as a list of lat long, just like that. So let's scroll up to our data set here and I'll copy and paste our lat long from one of these points down below. We got our latitude there and got our longitude here. Okay, I'll go ahead and run that just so I have it stored in memory. We've already got our map created. So let's just go ahead and just follow the code that's there. I like to do it this way, keep it kind of nice and neat. Our location, we can either put it in as a list, copy and paste like that, or we can write out point one since we have a variable where that information is stored. We're gonna do tooltip, and we'll just say have fun with Python folium. <laughs> oh, and make sure you include the commas here or you'll get an error. And we'll do pop up at a single point tutorial. Let's do for icon, let's just keep it simple and folium dot icon color equals green. Comma dot add to map. And then let's regenerate that map and let's go ahead and run that cell. Now we got Chicago, we've got a green marker. When you hover over it, you get have fun with Python folium and when you click it, add a single point tutorial. Okay, so continuing on with our project, we're going to add five points. Add all five points manually, use a list and iteration. First thing I wanna do is I wanna start with a fresh map. So I'm just going to go back up to my original coordinates here, make a new map. We'll call this one map one. And let me just go ahead and run that. Okay. Now, uh, I'm gonna go and get all of my points from our data frame up above, like I did previously. I'm just gonna kinda get my template in place, organize this a little better, and I'm gonna be scrolling up and copy and pasting, so I'll be back after I've done all of that. Getting there, working on my longitudes now. Make sure those negative signs get included so that they're on the correct side of the world. Now I'm just going to copy and paste um, this method that we have done previously. We'll make sure we do add to M1. Let me go ahead and copy and paste this five times. Add a little bit of organization here as well. Make sure that we come back and change these guys. And for funsies, go ahead and make these different colors too. If these colors work, we'll see. Let's go ahead and load this again and see uh, if we're successful or not. Ah, so I have used a color here that doesn't exist, color yellow. And we'll see it defaulted to a, a red it looks like. So let's go ahead and try pink for the yellow one. Great, so now we've got that one pink and here we go, that's five points. That was adding five points very inefficiently, one by one. We can do it a little better and we'll jump right to that here in a second. So now that we've learned how to add five points manually, we, we want to make this process a, a little more efficient. We're going to start by making a new map, first of all, a new blank map. Okay, we got ourselves another blank map. We only want to work with five points, so I'm going to make a new data frame with just our five points. What we have done previously is made a data frame here as the entire data set. When we call the tell function, we're referencing the full data set, but just the last five values. Well, we can make a new data frame so that we're working with only five values instead of all of the values. We will name that data frame last five. Comment this out for a moment and print out data frame last five dot head to check that. We've got just our last five values and this is data frame dot info. The original data frame is going to have close to, what is that, 8 million records. But if I go to data frame last five, we only have five entries. This time around, we want to use iteration 
instead of individually calling it out. And the way we can do that is by making a for loop for lat and long in zip. So we use this Python zip function allows us to iterate through multiple lists at the same time. We want to iterate through the latitude and latitude and longitude columns at the same time. In this zip function, we can call our data straight from the data frame by referencing the data frame and then the column that we want to reference, like so. I need to make sure that these are correct. Capitalize that accordingly. Make sure that we start our for loop. Then um, we are going to use the folium dot marker function as before. This time we're going to call our location equals lat long. We're just gonna keep it simple and just go ahead and make all of these blue. And we wanna add these to map two. Run this. We have those exact same points, they're all blue. We reference this straight from the data frame itself instead of having to manually write out all of our points. When we get to the add all points section of the tutorial, we're gonna be doing this for close to 8 million points like we saw earlier. We will do that in the next tutorial because we're gonna have some additional data cleaning steps to do in the next tutorial.